Get my chisel. Break those in half. And I just bend it back around. Trying to get it to come back and poke me. I don't want to do it. Smash it set with a hammer. What I'm doing, I'm cutting up these signs to use them for uh, metal in the concrete wall that I'm getting ready for. Huh? I didn't put one of these in a bottle of bad ideas there. Yeah, see that? I'm taking these in here. Yeah, so let me show them what we're doing. We're, we're using this wire. This is how you put it right here. Putting it up inside this uh, wall here. We're going to frame in with plywood and fill full of concrete. I don't want the concrete falling out of the L wall. Good job. With this. Good job. I'm do let me see that drill for a minute. I'm going to shine the light. See here? Looks pretty good. We still gotta tie it. It'll all be tied tonight. This is all recycled with wire. Okay. Here you go, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour this one, frame it up with plywood and pour it all in with sackcrete. This would be a solid load bearing. You can see now it carries the load of the roof. And uh, it's all gonna be concrete. Reinforced concrete. You drilling the hole, bud? Good job. That's my helper there. Yeah, I got all these signs. I didn't steal them. I got them out of the garbage in front of one house here in Sedalia. I got about 50 of those. So I'm going to put all the wire into there. All right. I'll be back. So here we have it. I'm thinking about putting another piece of, of one more piece of wire across right up here in a little bit. Fill in this void. Uh, it's not all tied. It's just twisted up and stuff between the two by fours. But it's a really heavy wire. And I really think that it will hold the concrete together. See, I'll put some twist in it. Some bends. Some wraparounds. None of it's just hanging. It's all just really twisted up real good. And I think that when I frame this up with a plywood, I'll mix up sackcrete and just pour it down one run at a time. And uh, when I take the plywood off, what the wall's going to look like, you're going to see all this wood. But you're not going to see none of the metal. And then it'll be all concrete in between the wood. So... That should stop uh, your small caliber bullet. It should stop your uh, 22 short, 22 long, 9 millimeter, uh, 25s, uh, 222s, uh, probably an SKS. Uh, but stuff like a 303, I go through the wood. 30-06, go through the wood. Uh, you know, your larger calibers are going to pass through the wood, but definitely just chip the concrete. That's going to be some hard concrete. I mean, that is a lot of metal. You can see I use the election signs for that, but... I'll probably go ahead and get the plywood nailed in place tonight and uh, get it ready to uh, mix up this one little sample bag of this all-star concrete mix. This is 60 pounds, and I'm estimating that it will probably only do this one run, which is about 8 inches wide and 3.5 inches deep. 
I'm hoping to get up here a little bit past, not the first, but the second. So one, one or two, one and a half pours is what I'm hoping to at least get out of that 60 pound bag of concrete. But this is going to be a chore within itself. Uh, I didn't have a, a redhead, so what I did, I, you can see I got my skill hammer drill there. I drilled a hole in the bottom plate between each 2 by 4 Switched out my drill bit, got an extra long masonry uh, 3 8 inch drill bit. Drilled down into the concrete, and then I dropped a large spike nail down each one of them so that the wall won't shift and if something happens that we lose the mortgage i could actually tear this wall uh out for the two by fours and take the two by fours with me and uh, leave the concrete uh after all this is a core shelter uh this is a load bearing wall i i don't know if something ever happens we lose the house i'm just going to uh Completely strip the shelter and not let the bank have it. But don't worry, we're caught up. Everything's looking good. We just uh, trying to get ready for the war. We can't do a whole bunch, but all I can do is try to protect my kids the best I can. Because I'm telling you, it is coming. Maybe not right now. Maybe not next week. Maybe not this year. But it's coming. But then it could be this week. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. We just don't know. That's why it's important that you know the Lord and you know Jesus and you know that uh, you can't trust your government. <laughs> so, just go ahead and take the steps you need and start building. I mean, this shelter is just getting irately crazy. And uh, it won't be long and you'll be able to come over here about where the uh, refrigerator is. Open the door. You're going to be able to walk out uh, down an underground corridor. Come out to the to the school bus, which is already buried, and be able to go out the other side of the school bus and hopefully come up through the trap door in the shed. That's what I'm hoping. Probably within the next six months. Okay, fine, Daddy. Yeah, put it up. Sage made that. I want to hold it. Okay, we're going upstairs for a little while. Well, Go get that light over there, Nevin. We're not wasting electricity. Don't drop your tablet. Look at this mess. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching the shelter video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, leave a comment. I mean, if you watched the video and you made it this far, feel free to ask any question you want. Com comment. It does good or bad. It doesn't matter. You run in here and get the light. See, we come in here, turn around the corner. This ideal was an ideal from one of my viewers. I'm not going to tell you uh, the viewer's name because I, I don't know if they would want me to. But uh, if you leave a comment or a suggestion, I always, just like this wall, you could get credit for the wall. If, uh, if you're the young lady that mentioned the uh, L entryway, and want me to mention your name in the video, I'd be glad to. I just didn't want to do it without your permission. It's going to be nice. It is nice. What's up? What's up? What's up, fellas? Say thanks. Keep watching. Oops. All right, peace, America. Prepare for the worst and pray for the best.